The lesser horseshoe bat is one of Ireland's smallest mammals. It weighs 6 to 8 grams and has a wingspan of up to 250 millimetres. Its name comes from the horseshoe shaped flap of skin around the nose through which it echolocates. In Ireland, the species has a limited distribution, occurring from Mayo in the north to Cork in the south. The Lesser Horseshoe is the only Irish bat species protected under Annex 2 and Annex 4 of the EU Habitats Directive. Lesser Horseshoe bats arrived to Ireland about 6,000 years ago. At this time, Ireland was covered in oak forests, which blanketed the island following the last ice age. The species was possibly widespread across the country, roosting in holes and crevices in trees during the summer months. As summer gave way to autumn, colonies would have travelled to underground sites, usually in caves like those in the cast limestone of the Burren. By the 1600s, severe deforestation had reduced woodland cover to 1.2%, and Ireland remains one of the least forested countries in Europe. So the bats have adapted to the loss of trees by roosting in small cottages or sheds, and stone buildings with natural slate roofs. The species is also associated with castles and stately houses, like Tourbally Lee in County Galway and Currachase House in County Limerick. Now they also overwinter in man-made structures like ice houses and cellars. Lesser horseshoe bats stay close to the maternity roost at night, using linear features like hedgerows and stone walls to commute to their preferred foraging grounds and avoid flying over open areas. They rely in areas of mixed broadleaf woodland and habitat along rivers and lakes, feeding on insects like crane flies, midges and dung flies, and can catch a moth in mid-flight or from the surface of a leaf. Their wings are short and broad and they have a high frequency echolocation call. perfectly adapted for flying in the cluttered woodland habitat. Females give birth to one pup, usually from mid-June, which they suckle for six weeks. They cannot use bat boxes, like other Irish bat species, as they are unable to land and crawl, needing to fly swallow-like through an opening, where they hang upside down by their feet. Since the late 1990s, BWT has bought or leased 12 breeding sites for the species. These are in Mayo, Galway, Clare and Kerry. We restored these buildings to provide safe, secure maternity roosts. These reserves now safeguard about 30% of the national population. All Irish Lesser Horseshoe Bat Roosts are surveyed in winter and summer by National Parks and Wildlife Service Conservation Rangers and VWT. Numbers at roosts are sent to Bat Conservation Ireland, who monitor the status of the Irish population with NPWS. Research has shown that the Irish Lesser Horseshoe Bat population has split into subpopulations that are divided by areas of unsuitable landscape. A Mayo, Galway Clare, and Kerry Cork Divide has developed. There are numerous reasons for these gaps. Many old stone buildings have deteriorated beyond use or have been demolished, and modern buildings constructed with blocks and tiles are unsuitable as horseshoe roosts. Woodland and hedgerow removal has meant loss of important commuting routes. Increases in urbanisation and artificial lighting have also separated populations. Artificial lighting is similar to a physical barrier for lesser horseshoe bats in flight. For over 40 years, VWT has been researching how to secure the future of the species. In addition to creating roosts, 
we have been using detectors to study how the species uses the modern landscape. We believe separated populations can be reconnected through measures targeted in key areas, creating stepping stones for bats to move through the landscape again. We create suitable roosting areas in existing buildings, like this hotbox that provides a warm, draft-free space within the roof and artificial hibernation sites in suitable outbuildings. We could plant and restore hedgerows and tree lines to create new pathways. BWT would like to work with communities to bridge these gaps, to allow the species to move through the landscape, and so secure a future for this little bat in Ireland.